Magandang araw mga kaproblematics. Usapang logarithms pa rin po tayo. If I remember, nung mga nakarang videos natin, ay we have some problems on how are we going to rewrite the given expressions, the given logarithm into a single logarithm or vice versa. But at this time, ang gagawin natin, we are now going to solve some logarithmic problem using their properties. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, huwag kalilimutang mag-subscribe. Tara, gawin po natin to. Recall ko muna yung mga properties na ating napag-usapan. We have the first properties, the product of a logarithm is equals to the sum of the logarithm of their logarithms. And the second property is we have the quotient of the logarithm is equals to the difference of their logarithms. And of course, we have the third, we have the third property which is the power of a logarithm. And the fourth property is the change of base logarithms. But at this time, we're going to have our focus on how are we going to solve to find for the value of x by using this four properties. Okay. I-consider po natin itong isang example. Our problem is to find for the value of x. Kung mapapansin natin, itong ganitong klaseng problem, kahit uh, magaling tayo sa algebra, if we do not know on how to find the right approach for us to solve for the value of x, we cannot solve for that, uh, for that given expressions or for that given problem. So, kailangan po natin ng properties na magdadala sa atin on how to solve this given problem. So, our problem is we're going to solve for the value of x of the expressions 2 raised to 6x plus 6 equals to 3 raised to 4 minus 2x. First, I have to rewrite the expressions. And ang pinakamahalaga po dito sa lahat is dapat alam po natin yung property. Kung mapapansin natin, yung atin pong ay meron siyang power. Ang power niya or exponent is 6x plus 6. Dito naman po, ang kanyang exponent is 4 minus 2x. So, tulad ng nabanggit ko po kanina, hindi natin kayang asolve po yun unless wala po tayong alam on how to solve for such particular problems, lalong-lalong na kung hindi natin alam yung properties ng logarithms. Pero dahil alam po natin to, so madali lamang po. Unang gagawin natin is to apply the power of a logarithms. Yung atin pong exponent na 6x plus 6 ay ililipat po natin dito. Mapupunta siya dyan. Wala muna tayong ibang gagawin maliban sa paglilipat ng ating exponent. Then the second also ay i-apply natin yung power of logarithms that is equals to the product of the power and the logarithms. Ililipat po natin siya dito. Kaya ang mangyayari ay ganito. So, yung atin pong exponent kanina na nandito ay napunta na po dito. Tulad ng nasabi natin, unang hakbang natin pag nakita tayo ng ganitong klaseng problem, we have to rewrite our expressions into a logarithmic expression. Ito po kasi is an exponential. So, to solve for the value of your x, isusulat po natin siya into a logarithmic form. So, that is log 2 raised to 6x plus 6 is equals to log 3 raised to 4 minus 2x. Then, ang ating pong exponent dito kanina ay napunta na po dito. Ito na po yun. Wala po ta, pa po tayong ibang ginagawa. Inilalagay lamang po natin sa tamang uh, placement or pwesto ang ating pong exponent. After natin na mailagay yung ating pong exponent dito sa side, sa left side ng ating logarithm, ang ating pong uh, exponent must be distributed. Multiply natin dito sa 6x times log 2. And of course, we have also to multiply, this will become 6 log 2. And we have also to multiply 6 times log 2, that is equals to 6 log 2. Ganon din po ang gagawin natin dito. We have also to multiply 4 times log 3 uh, minus 2x times log 3. And thus, ang ating magiging sagot ay ganito na. So we have now... Tulad ng nabangit ko po kanina, nag-multiply tayo. Ang sagot natin is 6x log 2 plus we have 6 times log 2 that is equals to 6 log 2 
Ito po yun. Equals, we have also to distribute 4 multiplied by log 3. That is equals to 4 log 3 and subtracted by 2 multiply, 2x multiplied by log 3. That is equals to 2x log 3. Okay. Now, ang kasunod po natin gagawin after na mag-distribute po tayo dito, na-distribute na po natin yan, which is ito na po yung kanyang sagot sa left side, ito naman po yung sagot sa right side nung nag-distribute po tayo ng kanilang uh, exponents kanina. So at this time, titinan po natin kung meron tayong common na nakikita sa isa't isa. Kung mapapansin natin dito sa left side, meron tayong x value since ang ating hinahanap ay the value of x, yung x dapat ay nasa right side or left side. Pero it doesn't matter kung gusto mo dito sa right side, okay lang. Pero mas maganda para mas kampante tayo ang ating x dapat ay nandito sa left side. And therefore, lahat ng merong x dapat mapunta dito sa left side. So ang may x po natin yung 6x log 2 and negative 2x log 3. Ang ibig sabihin nun, pagsasamahin natin yung 6x log 2 at saka negative 2x log 3. And therefore, yung 2x log 3 ay mapupunta dito. Kasi meron siyang variable na x. Dito naman sa kabila, meron tayong another problems na kung saan wala po silang variable na x. So, yung wala pong variable ay ililipat po natin dito. So, ang mangyayari, yung 6 log 2 ay mapupunta na po dito. Di po ba, ang kanyang operation is plus, so magiging minus. Then, ito pong dalawa ay magiging magkasama na. Kasama po yung 6 log 2. Again, tulad ng nabanggit ko po, ito naman po malilipat po dito. So, this will become... Ayan na po. So, ang nangyari, yung parehas may x ay pinagsama natin. Yun po yung 6x log 2 and 2x log 3. Kanina, ang sign kasi ng 2x log 3 dito is negative. Sa so, pag nilipat po natin dito, magiging positive po yun. Dito naman po positive kaya pag nilipat po natin, nagiging negative. So magkasama po ngayon na yung merong pong magkaparihas na variable or x. Tandaan, ang hinahanap po natin is the value of our x. Now, after natin nagawin yan, tingnan din po natin Kung meron pa tayong magagawa para mas mapaliit yung ating problem, nang sa gayon ay mas mapadali yung ating pagkuha ng value ng x. Kung titingnan natin dito, yung 6 at saka 2x ay pwede po natin mapaliit. Ang ibig sabihin nun, ifa-factor out natin sila. So, paano? gayon din po dito sa kabila yung 4 at saka 6. Ano po ba ang pwede natin i-divide? sa 6 at saka 2 na kung saan mas mapapaliit natin yung number. Of course, obviously, we have 2. We are going to divide 6 divided by 2. This will become 3x na lang. And dito naman po is 2x divided by 2x that are 2 that would be equals to 1 na lang. Gayon din po dito. If we divide 6 divided 2 that is equals to 3 and 4 divided by 2 that is equals to 2. Kaya ang mangyayari ay ganyan. Tulad ng nasabi natin kanina, after na ma-factored out natin yung atin pong uh, expressions para mailabas po natin yung x, yung iba dyan, hindi nang inilalabas yung x, iniiwan ng kaagad. Para mailabas yung x, ay nag-factored out tayo. So, ang kasunod na po natin gagawin, hahanapin muli natin yung x, mahala mo, may pag-asa pa. So, para makuha natin yung value ng x, di po bang ating problem, original problem is we have, ito po yun, 2x multiplied by 3 log 2 plus 1 log 3. Divide po natin ito sa kanilang sarili aside from x. And therefore, ang ating maging divisor, both sides po tayo ha, kaliwa at kanan. So we have now, 2x multiplied by 3 log 2 plus 1 log 3 divided by, our divisor is 2 log 3, ito pong ginamit natin, dinivide po natin dito, at yung buo na ito para mawala siya. So makakancel out po yun, Wala na. Matitira na lamang po, mawawala na rin po ito, cancel out na rin po. Then dito, 
mawawala din po yun. Ang matitira po natin ay ito. Therefore, ang ating magiging sagot is we have now 2 log 3 minus 3 log 2 over 3 log 2 plus we have log 3. Ito po ang ating magiging uh, value ng x. And therefore, for our value of our x, that's the solution of our equation is x now is equal to 2 log 3 minus 3 log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3. Good luck! Sana may natutunan kayo para mas makuha ninyo Ulit-ulitin nyo lamang kung panoorin ito para mas mapadali ang inyong pang uh, hanap ng solutions on how to find for the value of x kung ganito ang ating possible problems ang ating solutions. Good luck and have a nice day!